Welcome to the summit of the European People's Party on the 14th of March 2013 here in Brussels. Today we've been joined by top leaders from the EU institutions, heads of state and government from the EPP family, opposition leaders, ministers, members of the European Parliament, and other leaders in the EPP family to discuss the most important and timely issues in advance of the upcoming meeting of the European Council. Responsibility of being the largest family, both in the Council, in the Commission and in the Parliament. We had to go through these dramatic cuts and these dramatic uh, reforms in order to overcome a crisis that we did not create, that we EPP inherited in most of the cases from socialist governments. And uh, people will see, I'm convinced of it, that us from the beginning of next year, people will start realizing the rebound that the economy is going to have. And this is thanks to the difficult decisions that the EPP family had to take in the meantime. The measures vary from country to country. For instance, flexibility in the labor market or investments to research and development or uh, reforms to taxation that, in, that it encourages uh, companies to invest more. So the competitiveness in global scale is the best way to stimulate the economy. The Jugendarbeitslosigkeit is the strengthest problem. Und äh, sicher werden wir mit dem Parlamentspräsidenten auch darüber sprechen, wie wir schnell zu einer finanziellen Vorausschau kommen können. Denn dort sind Mittel zur Bekämpfung der Jugendarbeitslosigkeit festgelegt und die müssen aktiviert werden. I think we've had a really good start, if I may say so. Um, so we have uh, obviously managed to secure agreement on the MFF at Council, which is a hugely important breakthrough. We've made pro progress in a lot of the single market files, like public procurement, for, ex for example, close to conclusion on the accounting directive. These are really important for ensuring that SMEs particularly have better opportunities and can fu function more effectively across borders, thus you know, contributing to growth and hopefully creating uh, significant numbers of jobs. Um, we've also uh, managed to uh, secure agreement on the two-pack, which is hugely important in terms of stability um, and ensuring a, a strong and vibrant future for our currency. Um, and we have um, made progress on a, on, a, on a range of other significant files. I think one important one is the agreement which has been reached uh, um, at the top political level between the United States and the EU to move forward now on a, a transatlantic free trade agreement or partnership as, as some like to call it um, and I think that that's very important but of course the work that we have to complete now is to secure agreement on a mandate at Council before the end of June. We expect to join as of January 1st, 2014. Uh, of course, to get us there, to fulfill all master criteria in a convincing way, in a sustainable way, it took us a very serious uh, uh, adjustment. Uh, during the crisis, uh, we had done a fiscal adjustment of 17% of GDP in order to regain financial stability. Already for two years, we are enjoying uh, quite rapid economic growth of 5.5 and 5.6%, uh, respectively. This year, uh, budget deficit is planned to be at 1.4% of GDP, and as I already said, uh, we uh, seem to be fit to join the Eurozone, and we do hope that uh, there is going to be a positive convergence report with a recommendation for Latvia to join.